Hello and welcome. In this video, we're going to be going through the solutions for questions one and two of the May-June 2023 CSEC Mathematics Paper 2. We begin with question 1a, which is a fraction question. And it says 5 sixths plus 2 thirds minus 12 over 35 times 7 over 9. Because this question has multiple operators, then we must follow the order of operations. So we must do this section first. And so doing this part first, let's write it up. 5 sixths plus 2 thirds minus 12 over 35 times 7 over 9. Of course, we can do some division here. We can divide 7 into itself, and 7 into 35 goes 5 times. And we can divide 9 by 3, and 12 by 3. That gives us 4. And that gives us now, when we write it up again, 5 sixths plus 2 thirds minus 4 once 4 over 15. Of course, at this point, we could rename these fractions to get all of them to be to have the same um, same denominator, and that would make our lives easy. And it's also equally easy to just use a LCM. So we just find the LCM of these three numbers, which is 50, which is um, 30. And so we say 6 into 30 goes 5 times. 5 times 5 here gives us 25. 3 into this 30 gives us 10 times. There are 10 3s here. 10 times 2 is 20. And we can get 2 15s out of 30. 2 times 4 there gives us 8. And so that added up at the top here. 25 plus 20 is 45. Minus 8 over 30. And of course, this gives us 37 over 30. It says the exact value. This is the exact value. You may leave it like that. Or you may choose to write it as a mixed number. Doesn't matter. 1 and 7 over 30. Still exact. All right. Moving on to the other part of the question. It says we're to find the square root of 1 minus cos 37 square. And write that answer correct to three decimal places. You could just type this in your calculator if your calculator can handle it. And most modern calculators can handle things like these. I don't think this question is really interested in the workout as it is interested in the decimal places. But to show the process nonetheless, we find the square root of um, cos 37. Just remember to have your calculator in degree mode. That's important here. So it's 1 minus the cos of 37. Cos of 37 rounding off to four decimal places, since we want the answer to 3, would be 0 0.7986. Of course, we're going to square that. So squaring 0 0.7986 gives us 0 0.6378. And of course, now we subtract that. And we get 0 0.3622. Now we um, find the square root, and the square root of this to three decimal places is 0 0.602. All right, now we need to write this number in standard form or scientific. Scientific notation, same thing. So a number in scientific notation is written in the form a times 10 to the n, where a is between 1 and 10. Can be 1, can't be 10. So we need to get a number that has, we need to have one number in front of our decimal point. And so we're going to adjust the place value here by adjusting right here where the point is. We need to multiply by 10, 100,000 for, for the point to get here. So we have 5.27. Once we multiply by 1,000 here. And times 10 to the 3. But because this is a decimal fraction, uh, we need to put a negative here to indicate that this is a decimal fraction. All right. 
So in general, when we're using, we're writing standard form for decimal fractions, you have to use a negative power to show that. All right, moving on to the next one. We have Harish, who is working at a call center for 35 hours each week. And in working at that call center, he gets $11.20 per hour for 35 hour work week. First thing we need to do here is to calculate the amount of money he earns in a four week month. Question first is how much does he get in one in one week? So let's do that. In one week, he gets $35 times 11.2, that's $11.20, and that gives us a total of, when you do your calculations, 392. Just punch in your calculator and verify that it's $392 for one week. Since we're dealing with four weeks, then we need to multiply 392 by 4. And that, of course, gives us 1,568. So this is the money for the four weeks. Second part of the question says, in a certain week, he works eight hours overtime. Overtime hours are paid at one and a half times the usual rate of $11.20. So we need to find how much money he gets for those hours, and for that we write 1.5, same thing as 1.5, times 11.20, and that would be the amount of money he gets per overtime hour. Of course, there are 8 hours overtime. When we do our calculations here, we end up with $134.40. So this is overtime money. Now the question says, find the total amount of money Harish is paid for that week, since he works that time for that week. Remember, he gets $392 per week. So our answer here is going to be $392 plus the overtime money, which is $134.40. And adding that up gives us $526 and 40 cents for the money earned for that week all right make sure you do your calculations to check and verify that it's actually so here we have a multiplication question at question two of course you know question two is algebra and here it's saying simplify 5 over 4x times 15x over 6. We can do some calculations here again, some, some division here rather. So 5x divides out itself one time and divides out 15x three times. 5 into 15 is 3, the x divides itself out. And the 4, of course, divides itself one time, divides 16 four times. And so what we actually get out of this is simply... 3 times 1, 3, over 4. And that's our answer there. After that is simplified, solve the inequality. 12 minus 4m is less than or equal to 5 minus 8m. Now we can rearrange this since we have letters on both sides of the equation. I'm going to rearrange the letters on this side and the numbers on that side. So this 12 will be rearranged over that side and this minus 8m to that side. So I'm going to have here uh, minus 4m plus 8m. Um, is less than or equal to 5 minus 12, which gives me 8m is less than or equal to 5 minus 12 is negative 7. So let's, try, let's just write that in. And so, oh, I didn't, I didn't calculate this part. Let's just do that. Negative 4m plus 8m is 4m. 
and so what we have now rather is m is less than or equal to negative 7 over 4 and that's our answer there for the inequality if you had rearranged it the other way um, which some of you may have done or might want to do say you want to keep keep the numbers on this side and the the um, 12 minus 5 is less than or equal to minus 8m plus 4m this is important if you do this way to be mindful that we have here uh, 7 is less than or equal to negative 4m and with these inequalities and inequations if you are dividing by a negative <coughs> which we will have to do here that you um, reverse the inequality sign when you're done so negative 7 over 4 as it says here <coughs> is less than or equal to m but because we divided by a negative we switch this sign around and so we get our answer now we didn't do that here because we divided by a positive number but with inequalities if you divide by a negative coefficient as in this case you must remember to switch that sign <coughs> continuing here we have a diagram the diagram below shows a compound shape made up of two rectangles the lengths in the diagram which are written in terms of x are in centimeters so we're to find an expression in terms of x for the length pq now pq is here <coughs> pq is here so pq plus this distance here let me put it in a different color here pq plus that side pq plus here is the same thing as mn so we can work that out we can say mn we can say pq is equal to mn minus this piece because this piece this side lr plus qp pq is the same thing as mn so um, mn minus lr if you want to write it out which is 3x minus x plus 3 that would work it out and so we're subtracting all of that so 3x minus x gives us a 2x and a minus 3 and that is the length of pq so we can write that in 2x minus 3 for this section next part of the question we have to find rq and rq is here now doing the same thing you notice that if we go across like that then rq plus rq plus um, the distance from here to here which is pn is the same thing as um, lm at the top so rq is equal to rq let's just write it another way um, rq get my pencil rq plus pn is equal to lm and so we can say then rq if that's what we want to find is equal to lm minus pn same as we did for the one before it was just with the other side so it's 4x minus 5 minus this side take out this piece remember we're subtracting all of it so we need a bracket so it's 4x minus x minus 5 minus 1 which gives us 3x minus 6 and that is the length of rq right here of course we know that it's in centimeters 
Next, we want to find the total area of the shape. Sorry, given that the total area of the shape is 414 centimeters square, show that x squared plus x minus 72 is equal to zero, which means that we need to make a quadratic equation. So I'm gonna transfer my measurements, three x minus six here. And for the one before, 2x minus 3. So we need to break this up. The total area is 414. So if I choose to break the shape along this side, say we break it along here, then I have a rectangle here that I can use. And I have another one up here that I can use. So the total area for this one would be, remember the area of the rectangle is length times width. So it's 4x minus 5 times x plus 3. And we're going to add that to 2x minus 3 times x plus 1. All right, let's get, it, let's get that done. Here, multiplying this out, we end up with 4x squared plus 12x minus 5x minus 15. Adding to this, 2x squared plus 2x minus 3x minus 3. Let's tidy this up and see what we have. Four um, that gives us a 6x squared, um, 12x minus 5x, that's 7, 7 plus 2 is 9, 9 take away 3 is 6, and in terms of numbers, 15 here and minus 3 there gives us um, minus 18, and of course, this represents the total area, and we are told that this total area is equal to 414. So let's um, bring this number to the other side of the equation. 6x squared plus 6x um, minus 18 minus 414. equals zero. This gives us now, let me just fix that a little bit. This gives us 6x squared plus 6x minus 432 equals zero. And you look at these two equations and you realize that this is what we get here, but this is what the question wants us to show. And they're not exactly the same thing. But what we can do is divide the whole thing by 6. And when we divide by 6, we realize that we end up with x squared here plus x here. And 432 divided by 6 gives us 72. So we end up with a minus 72 equal zero and we would have shown that the if the combined if the total area of the shape is 414 then we can find an equation an expression that represents the total area equated to this number and reduce that that equation to x squared plus x minus 72. you can find the past paper the may june 2023 cxe paper on the website at ccmathwitter.com as, as along with other videos and material that you can use to help you prepare for your exams. Thank you for watching. If you found this video useful, of course, remember to subscribe and share it with somebody who wants to find solutions and learn about these topics. Thank you again.